Oh, hello, hello. Welcome back. We're just gonna chill for a little bit here. I'm making some din din. Got some goodness for tomorrow. Better have a beer with me. But if you don't, that's okay too. I, uh, putting the grill together here for a minute. Turns out my neighbors have went camping, so I should be able to do some footage outside without feeling a little shy. Sometimes I get a little shy when the neighbors come out here, believe it or not, and I don't really care to talk. And Amber was telling me today that the neighbor boys supposedly had seen somebody outside at the corner of our properties at night. So I am pretty interested in what that might be about. I think I'll start security perimeter checks. Could be the new neighbors. Could be some weirdo. Don't really know yet. Can't say I'm too awfully worried. Just cleaning my grill real quick here. I did clean all the crud off the bottom, so I got a good working surface for uh, drilling, and the bottom won't have to worry about getting flamed up too bad at all. So, I just sprayed some oil on here, so that'll help. So let me show you what I'm working with. Here's the grill, nice and dirty, that's the way I like it. Alright, let me put you here. Now this is a summer squash I'm going to cook up here. Alright, one thing I did is I cut the end off, I cut the end out, and I went around about that deep. Around the whole thing with a knife. So I'm just going to give this a squeeze here. Alright, squeeze it all the way from the top to the bottom. You do have to have somewhat of strong hands to pull this off, because this is a big one. I didn't cut it quite deep enough here, I don't think. I'll flip it over and give it a squeeze, though. Yeah, I didn't cut it on the end deep enough, so I'll take the knife out again. I'll make my incision along the side, like so. Okay, whoop, went off the line. Now I'll cut in a little deeper here on the end. That should help. There it did. Yes, it did. I still got to get this side a little deeper here. All right, it's coming apart. All right, now the nice part about doing it like this is that I can take my spoon here, stick it back in here at the top. Just run it down the side. My kitchen. My kitchen looks comes pretty the good. Birthday girl. Hey everybody. Sorry, I didn't know you were doing that. It's okay, I'm just showing them how I prep my zucchini now for dinner. So there. Some people don't like the big zucchinis because of the seed. Because it's got these big seeds. And that's a lot to chew on for some people. So they like the smaller ones. So I removed the seed and you end up with just the meat. And all this here, I can pull the seeds out of. So everybody wins. Right, Amber? Sure. She says sure. Yep. So tomorrow's gonna be a good day for her. We're celebrating her birthday tomorrow with a few guests. If you select people, not everybody we wanted to come could come, but it's okay. Our favorites will be here. So that's that. Yeah, I didn't say anything. We don't have favorites. That's what she means. So the only next part of this to go on the grill is butter and seasoning. Yep, 
And I'm not making a video on me cooking. I'm just showing you this is what I'm doing right now. I still, uh, I put a quarter inch slice in each end of the zucchini. Yes, I did. Quarter inch slice in each. Am I talking to you? No. No, I'm talking to myself, babe. Just a normal video. Yeah, and Amber's got this seasoning I'm going to try. It's everything bagel seasoning. I might have to add some extra salt, but I think it'll be good. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my phone. See, there we go. I'm going to start this grill up. One zucchini you think's good enough for all of us? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a big one. That's what she said. Alright, I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. And I'm gonna go chill out. I like to start on the far end. Gas. Spark. It's lit. I do the same thing. Gas. Spark. I turn it real slow. Turn it real slow, real slow and it lights. So they're all lit. It's all clean. Let it get hot for a minute. I'm going to have me another drink so you have the beer ski. It's a beautiful day out here. I'll go show you the garden here in a minute. Show you what I'm thinking. Go ahead and walk over there now. Looks like I was gonna do two. I'm set to go to daily for this. Okay. Yeah, I got this jerry rig here. Put up some new fencing and I put this section of fence with just it's just set up here, but I can leave it open. And then Bailey can run and have fun. So let's take a walk. Cherry tomatoes. Needs pruning. Peppers are looking good. There was a big green one down here. Yep, right here. It's dirty. Here, Amber. Catch. I don't want to catch. Catch. That was a pretty good one. Oh shit, I left my shirt out here yesterday. It's gonna be all sun bleached now. Damn it. Sure is. Shit. What shirt was this? Well, at least it's the inside of the shirt. I'm walking in my bean rows. I got like nine rows, probably 80 plants. Got a couple peppers over here I didn't get. I gotta prune these this evening. I think I'm gonna leave one. Take that one. Compost, been working on it. Zucchinis, I've been thinning out. I do need to prune those tomatoes. Look at that, it's so fucking horrible. But I'll let me show you what I'm thinking over here. First off, look at those beautiful, rare things in my garden. I hope they grow fully. Give them a few more days. Tomatoes are looking good, all right? But here's the deal. This is what I'm thinking. See that this stem? I'm thinking harvest and then cut it and grow this one. I got the same thing going on over here. I could cut it and grow that one. Uh, same thing here. Cut it here, grow this one. Likewise, every one of them. Every one of them. And so if I harvest everything, green and red, I could potentially grow a new plant here with a really good water base system and not have to carry the water all the way to the top. I mean, look at this vine. This is freaking ridiculous. And it's too tall. It's just too tall. So it's a lot to work with. I think the most logical thing to do is to cut it and see if I can bring another harvest in the next two months. Okay, I got zucchinis all pruned back. I showed that. 
Everything should be good. The only thing I got to do is prune these. I got about a month and I'm going to have garlic in the ground. I'm going to start cabbage seeds pretty soon and I'm thinking one, two, three, four, maybe five cabbage. A row right here. A row of cabbage here. I don't know. I might keep those in containers even until the beans are done in 60 days. I don't know. But if you want to see what's going on here, take a look. Take a look. Yes, nice and fuzzy. I can smell them from a few feet away easily. Uh, I am in need of nutri nutrients, especially for my little guy, but I think he's root locked. So I need to uh, transplant him. I get it. I get it. Don't shock him. Don't shock him. But, you know, I got to. That's all there is to it. I gotta harvest these mini bell peppers. Yeah, I do. Getting a bad spot on one. So, yeah. Bailey, what the hell are you eating? You want one of that? Want that? Get it. That's my doggy. She's our pit bull mix. <coughs> Yeah, hack it up. Hack it up. Hey, right. I'm gonna put this stuff on the grill here. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. Turn it down, nice and low. All right. And the zucchinis. I'm gonna put them right up on the top here. So what you see. And just close it up on them now. Kick back and relax. Ooh, made the glass of my beer hot. Well, that ain't no good. Can't be having no hot beer. Room temperature is good enough. Warm beer is pretty good if you get the right beer. American beer, from what I've learned, is pretty pretty shitty. If you want to be drinking that shit warm. If you want to be drinking that shit warm, you're pretty desperate. But some imported beer and American made beers that are like craft beers I found can be very good warm and I mean very warm even like if you leave this beer outside this beer will actually hold up pretty good to warm weather to where you can crack it see the it isn't as refreshing uh, when they're warm they're a lot dry a lot more dry Okay, this is kind of cold. I'll drink them warm though. But uh, I got just got this from the grocery store. They keep it cold. Uh, so pretty much, if you have a warm beer and it's good quality beer, what I've learned is they're a little more dry on the palate. But I do get a lot more flavor, and the buzz is different as well. Uh, I don't need to drink as many to feel like I have. Uh, which is good because I don't want to drink as many uh, so I don't know perhaps it's something to do with the temperature of the beer in comparison to the body's temperature in trying to metabolize the ingredients that's my guess okay educated guess we'll call it or a hypothesis I really do hope it's a good day for everybody it's been a great day for me and I think Amber's had quite a good day as well uh, making dinner a little early this evening. Amber wants to walk up and get ice cream, so we're going to do that. I told her I won't be wearing a mask for that kind of shit. She's fine with it. I didn't wear a mask in the grocery store either. I still get looks. Uh, and I do end up wearing a mask like when we go. I like self checkout. Uh, normally I like regular checkout because I expect the store to keep a person instead of a robot, but. I don't like to wear a mask, so I do self-checkout. She went through the, the line with the cashier, and uh, so I put my mask on. It's funny, though. She's like, you've been wearing that the whole time? It's like, what the fuck? Don't you ever look at me? <laughs> she might not. She might not. She might just have a vivid picture in her head and never look at me. So, can't blame her, I guess. The bee. The bee.
So yeah, today I worked on seeds. I harvested zucchini seeds, I harvested some cucumber seeds, some pepper seeds, and I harvested some tomato seeds, Roma tomato seeds, a bunch. And I've got all those sitting in water, uh, trying to separate them from their pulp, get it down to just the seed. Uh, they all end up with a coating. The zucchinis will be good today and get all them seeds out today. Same should, same should be true for the cucumbers, although those are smaller, so much more difficult. The uh, tomato seeds are going to take a few days. They're going to have to sit in water. I got them in a bowl with water. They're going to have to sit there and ferment a little bit to get the enzyme coating off of the uh, tomato seed because uh, they have an enzyme that's a growth inhibitor if anybody is not familiar with that. So your tomato seeds, if you want more success, you need to be fermenting that shit. Okay, and it's real simple. Just add some freaking water. Alright, just add some freaking water, set it to the side, keep it covered so the bugs and shit don't get to it. Don't let mold sit there and grow on the top so it eats your seeds either. Just keep it clean, get it fermented until you can rinse them off and see a clean seed. That's the recommendation that I've learned. Uh, pepper seeds don't seem to have that issue. Uh, I usually just shuck them off into a container and I will flip them over and over so as they dry they do not dry stuck together. Uh, that's important. You know, I don't want to leave them in the sun either to dry and crack. I did that, had that happen with some zucchini seeds. So zucchini seeds are all soaking in water and uh, that's really helping for the pulp to let go of the seed and then I'll go through there and I'll thumb out all my seeds onto a plate and let them dry. So that's my plan for seeds. Lots of seeds today. Um, I still got some more zucchinis to do, plus the one I just did for dinner. Yep. I told my wife that, uh, that everything can take a shit around here. And uh, this, is this will be a, like a Garden of Eden. Uh, with the amount of seeds we're harvesting. We'll be growing food. So, and it doesn't have to be on my own property. We'll see what happens. I know people think I'm nuts, and I don't really give a shit anymore, because I think they're fucking stupid. All the signs are out there. I mean, you don't have to see the end of the world to see the need to have some damn food. And sadly enough, there's a lot of people that think they're too fucking smart for that shit. Well, they're going to look pretty fucking stupid here before long. It'll be a long, dark winter. So, I'll take care of my family. We're going to come out in the spring and make the best of it. And at worst, my timeline's wrong, and we'll wait till next winter. Uh, but the sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. Like I told my wife, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this world. Yeah. Sick of this imaginary system they built. Sick of all of it. I want to get back to what's important. And really, that's what I am, except as crazy as this might sound, I am a man who exists in two different worlds. I I don't have two lives, but I definitely am in two worlds right now. And I'm doing pretty good about it these days. Yep, I know why I'm here. I see things a lot clearer than I have even a month ago. Don't worry about me. It's unnecessary. Right. I'm going to cut this off and go hang out with my wife. So, hope you guys have a great day. And I'm going to do the same. She's playing some music. I might have to do a little dancing. Alright, goodbye everybody.